I think we need to address all of the brain research in female orgasm. It's fascinating that they always focus on the brain thinking that they can come up with a pill <laughs> that will make you orgasm. <laughs> well, I'd love one, except it isn't going to happen. No, and why not, though? We were discussing this. I know. Well, it's like the it's like with Viagra, the, the cold the hard-on. Well, it gives you a hard-on and doesn't make you ejaculate. And it doesn't get hit. You don't have the feeling that goes with it. No. So the brain, what the brain can do, from my point of view, is focus on the sexual fantasy. So we are bereft of sexual imagery except for porn. You've got to have your own sexual imagery. What turns you on, not what turns men on in general. Or even for men. It, it's not always, you know, the enhanced curves and the blonde hair. You'd be amazed at what will turn you on. If you explore your mind. But here's the thing. If we were masturbating as children, mm -hmm. oh, and this drives everyone crazy, <laughs> that we would start to have our sexual fantasies very young. Yes. I, had a, I had a fantasy about a, a, a fuzzy caterpillar that climbed, in, climbed into my panties, and I could feel it getting closer and closer to my little wee-wee. I don't know what I... What exactly. well, yeah, you thought it was. But <laughs> <laughs> and as it got closer and closer, it was like... <gasps> and then... When it crawled inside, I could feel it tickle, and my little boyfriend would go in and take it out. Now, that was a childhood fantasy, and it was about... It's wonderful. I know. I mean, it's just wonderful. It's like, it, and that could be something really hot. You know, they always have, like, the eels and the squids and all of that kind of, the like... A little thing. fussy worm. <laughs> With Viagra, everyone's like, oh, I can still have an erection, so I'll still have a sex life. Like, anyone who's had sex with someone on erectile enhancing drugs knows it's a cold heart and it's not good. Porn stars always say that. And I feel like the same would be true if they could come up with some pill that somehow you take and you can well, come on Well, they think they end. have with that vice, with the Addy. How can you overcome a lifetime, a social prohibition on female sexual expression. That's the problem. We're well, constantly told we're not sexual, we don't need sex, we don't want sex, and if you do, you're a horrible person, you're a slut, the virginity myth, and we're still plagued by so much guilt and shame, no pill can take that away. You're right. A pill isn't going to get it. No. But you get a good vibrator, and you start working on your sexual fantasies, and you start practicing being a dirty girl. Oh, there's nothing better than being a dirty girl. Oh. <laughs> I remember as a young girl getting in trouble, I don't know how old I was, but I figured out that I could masturbate in the bathtub with the faucet, and there was no door, a lock on my door of my room, but in the bathroom there was a lock, so I got free time, private time. It's so hard for kids to get private time. And she overheard me telling them how to do it, and she was like, I don't even understand why you would want to do that, or why would you would feel the need to. Why do you? Why would you be? <laughs> why would you be sexual? Is what yeah, I was like, what? It was the first, the beginning of it all. And you know, I thank I oh, I thank the goddess every day that my mother thought that masturbation was a natural activity for kids. She was not religious, and she had no formal education. So, what does religion and, and education do to us? It can, it can be used to exalt the human experience, or it can repress the human experience. Yeah, well, out in Wichita, believe me, it was about <laughs> <laughs> it was about repressing, shutting it down, not not encouraging it. If you open up your heart, your mind, your soul to pleasure, you, you know what I mean. The orgasms come. See, I don't, wouldn't even use the word pleasure at that point. Something dirty and awful and naughty. I think we got to go to the dark side. <laughs> to, like you know, to to kick it over. Like, you know, kick Well, because there's nothing like going to the dark side to make you feel really hot, too. It's like, you shouldn't be doing oh, this. Oh, it's naughty. Go get naughty. I remember this one woman who said to me, you know, I'm very dedicated to feminism, and I'm really, I am, I consider myself to be a very, uh, you know, legitimate feminist and yet I have this awful sexual fantasy about these six Irish cops show up and break down my door. And oh, the rape fantasy, yeah. Every feminist has a rape fantasy. That's what I'm... <laughs> I said, that's fabulous. I said, I'm going for the football team. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not feminist. And I said, no, you don't want it to be feminist. You want it to be no. naughty, dirty. And it's always forbidden. about 
forbidden. forbidden. It's forbidden. with people you yeah. shouldn't be having right. sex with or doing things in places you shouldn't be doing them. That's what makes us exciting. Yeah. 